Welcome to Oriente Station in Lisbon. I'm Patrick Hughes and this is Planet Patrick. First of all, don't make the mistake that I did and order an Uber thinking that it was only about five minutes to Oriente Station. It's not, it's at least 20 minutes from downtown Lisbon out here to Oriente. Now, I'm going to Faro today on a Pendolino or an equivalent, the Alfa Pendular, which is a fast train here in Portugal and traveling in first class. It leaves in 15 minutes from platform seven, the Alfa 180. Oh, it's slightly delayed by seven minutes. That's not a bad thing. I am fascinated by vending machines in different countries. This one offered cables and headphones. With these bags, no chance. I see an escalator that might work. The architecture here at Oriente Station in Lisbon is second to none. When I was coming in in the Uber, I had a slight worry about whether I put the right address in on the Uber app, because my Portuguese isn't amazing. But from about a kilometer away, you can see the peaks of this really dramatic architecture. So far at least this is not a busy station, I've seen only one train go so far. Then again, it is Sunday morning. My little bet that first class will be at this end was wrong. It's right at the other end. <laughs> The layout of this first class cabin on CP trains is 1-2 and I chose one of the forward facing solo seats. If you're interested in the price, I'll discuss that a little later. Now let's go over the amenities. The seat itself was pretty comfortable, there is a small hook up here and then everybody has an individual table that pulls out just like this. And you know what? It's pretty firm, firm enough to work on. There's free Wi-Fi on board and it was getting a steady speed of 18 megabits. Let's head back and find the buffet car. This train really feels quite up to date. It's pretty impressive. After a couple of minutes, I found the coffee shop. They had some choices at least. Mostly cakes and there were a few sandwiches on offer as well. You'll see those in a second. Prices were pretty conservative. A coffee and a small cake cost about three euros. Look at that beautiful Portuguese countryside. There are these TV screens as well. I wasn't quite sure what they were showing, but I think you probably could have put in your headphones. Please you You don't know how much I 
very tight and a little rocky in here. If you've seen my videos from Canada looking at Via Rail, those have a generously sized bathroom. And on board this train it's tight but functional. A pair does help. The full price for this trip in first class from Lisbon to Faro was, wait for it, 19 euros. I had booked to go as far as Faro, which is the next station after this one, which is Lule. This is the area of Cartiera and Villabura, which is where I'm stopping at for the next month, is actually technically closer to here than it is to Faro. So I think I'm going to try and pick up a car, a taxi or an Uber from here. It's about eight kilometers to Villamura. And if I go to Faro, it's a one hour bus journey back to Villamura. So I think I might as well just get a taxi, get into the town. I can't check in for another two hours at my Airbnb, but I reckon I could get a really nice lunch and enjoy this warm sunshine. It turns out there's Uber from here at Lule train station and it's going to cost about 7 euros to go the 8.8 .8 kilometers from here over to Villamora. A few moments later. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey from Lisbon to Lule as it turned out on board that Alpha Pendular with Portuguese Railways. I've just arrived at my Airbnb. I'm going to settle in and put on the air conditioning. Whew. Take care, bye bye.